Let's talk mangaves. Hi you guys, welcome back. So today we are talking about mangaves. Quickly first, what is a mangave? So a mangave is a cross between an agave plant and a manfredo plant. And there's a couple reasons for this. Um, first of all, the mangave was first termed back in about 2005 out of a nursery in Texas. And they, they cross a, mangave, a manfreda with a agave. And there's a couple of reasons why this is a great thing. First of all, agaves are gorgeous, beautiful plants. However, a couple of negative factors. A, they're pretty slow growers for the most part. They also are pretty spiky and they're, mo they're monocarpic, which means when they bloom, they die, you get a bunch of pups, but your big, beautiful plant is done for. Manfredas, on the other hand, are not as spiky. They are not monocarpic and they're fairly quick growers. So put those two combinations together and you get the manfreda which is a very vivacious pepper, in my opinion. Also is a fairly quick grower and is not very spiky. The monocarpet part is to be determined. It sounds like some people say they are, some people say they aren't. I personally haven't had any of my mangaves bloom. So we'll find out when one of them decides to bloom. of today's video is I have a bunch of pups in both my manfredas and my mangave and I'm gonna go ahead and discuss with you when and when not to divide up your pups in my opinion so let's go ahead and check these out and get started so here's my first plant that has popped it is a um, manfreda and it's a Barney manfreda it's got this really gorgeous purple spotted color has that nice agave structure and these very small tiny little babies here is an example of a plant that i don't think should be yet split up so in my opinion there's no reason to split these babies up yet they're very small and they will grow a lot faster when kept with the mother <laughs> so we're gonna leave them there now let's go check out the other plants that i will be dividing up here we have a gorgeous manfreda chocolate chip has these beautiful long leaves a little bit of edginess on the tops but extremely smooth which is one of the beautiful things about the manfreda and gorgeous speckling on the inside if you can see that just really really pretty and he did bloom i cut off the bloom spike he bloomed in about May, June-ish of this year. Um, an extremely unexciting bloom in my opinion. It really was nothing to write home about. However, he does have tons of babies, which pretty much all came after he bloomed. So these babies all have shut up in the last two months, three months, I'd say. So very quick, vivacious pepper. Thirdly, we have this gorgeous guy, another Manfreda. Fortunately, I don't know the name of this one. Or no, sorry, another Mangave. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of this one, but I've had him for two years or so. He has other pups that I have since made new plants for him, given them away to my mom, etc., etc. But there's about three in here. And I'm going to be removing all of these pups from both these two plants for a couple reasons. One, they're gotten quite big. This plant, this pot is pretty much only can handle one big plant. And these are too big. They're going to be encroaching on the plant. With the manfreda over here, I want to keep the mother structure intact. And once these get too big, it's going to be a lot harder to remove them. So I want to remove them now while they're still small. So let's go ahead and get to going.
Okay, well, everything's all planted up. I'm gonna be waiting to water everything for at least two to three weeks. And also I'm gonna be keeping everything in the shade, especially they're all new tender little babies and they just got pretty stressed out. So I'm gonna be keeping them all in the shade. Won't be watering them for a few weeks and it'll be really nice to just to, A, have some more plants and just see how everything goes. Definitely learned something new. The Manfredas I already knew were a very delicate plant, way more than the Mangaves, but the babies too don't come off as easily. Don't, don't come off with any roots whatsoever. So um, that was new and different, so that's good to know. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll just be uh, watching them and see how they're going. I'll keep you guys apprised to see um, what happens. So uh, yeah, we will. Uh, so thanks for watching and we will catch you guys again on the next video. Okay, thanks, bye-bye. Manfredas. No, just kidding. Today we're talking about mangaves. I keep mixing the two up. <laughs> so, hi. Alternatively, the Manfredas are A, not very pipes. Oop. I have a bunch of little puppers. Puppers. Pups. Whatever you want to call them. Everyone's having different opinions about them. Whether. Okay, who cares about this? So, anyway. Um, okay, this makes no sense. Okay, that was not very good.